So you're thinking about buying an Ender 3 SE. Let me give you a little foresight before you go ahead and spend that money on this machine. Normally it will come with these rods here. These rods are a little springy. That's why we changed them out to rails for higher speed and more stability. It is a little wobbly. So you're going to want to stabilize this gantry. We have mods out there to print so that way you can stabilize your gantry and make sure it's nice and solid. Thinking about printing ABS, you are going to have to change the nozzle out to the K1 nozzle, which works great on this printer, as long as you're able to get a fan shroud. This one's available from Nora on printables.com. You're going to want to make sure that that shroud, just like the Nora shroud, goes around almost to 360. If you get a 360, great. There's no mods out there currently. You can always create one if you're good at Tinkercad, Blender, and all that. But... This will blow real good cold air on your part compared to the original parts cooling fan. The original shroud came with the single 410 blower with a 3D printed uh, shroud here. It was not the greatest at cooling and as you see in the higher temps, this is just from PET G. It starts to warp and deteriorate. So, printed it in ABS in order to give me a lot better cooling. Obviously upgraded to the 5015 blower. Yeah, like I said, Good printer, once you got it tuned in. This thing won't win a race in a lot of cases because it's only rated for 250. If you want to do that, you're going to have to change out the uh, stepper motor and the gearing, which is down the road for me. But if you just wanted to print, it prints great. Again, another great Creality printer that's flawed, but still good. Everything else I have on this machine is just added benefits for me. Obviously, the linear rail up top, like on the KEs, that's just for more stability as well. The main thing with this SE is stability. It prints. There's no issue with that. It will print. It'll do what it's supposed to do. But again, you need to stabilize this gantry. It wobbles all over the place. It's very weak. Do not leave that spool holder on top either, because it'll help to bend it back and forth. So that's why you want to go ahead and print yourself something on top. Uh, whatever variation you want. You just want to take that weight off the top of that gantry. Again, it's a great printer for beginners learning the pro or learning the hobby. So if you're into modding, you like doing things, tinkering with items, get an SE. If you don't like tinkering and just want to do one or two things and make sure the printer prints perfectly and have a great printer out the box, get a KE. Just get a KE, change out the rods to rails, and stabilize the gantry, you'll have all the printer that you need.